Hello guys, welcome back to another video of Dylan Hats. So, when I order the electronic uh, stuff, talking about electronic components online, I usually order it from AliExpress because the re the main reason is all the electronic distributors charge me about six hundred Thai baht, Thai baht or roughly twenty bucks if I don't pay them uh, fifty dollars up so it's not worth to buy a couple dollars ship and pay it uh, twenty bucks uh, shipping but recently for some unknown reason uh, element 14 they decide to offer free shipping on all order no minimum seriously so then I took this opportunity to uh, order some FPGA ship which is still waiting on the way because we have a ship shortage and recently I also um, uh, bought a ship from LCSC like uh, you can see I got the box here and yeah just couple voltage regulator and laser but today I'm gonna take a look at the element 14 so I'm gonna try to cover this thing so yeah element 14 I'm gonna open the box for you so oh no some information that I shouldn't show you so here we go in the box let's see what we've got okay so this one is meant to be the Hirose connector and I uh, take a look at the packages fancy package so let's take this thing and stick it inside This connector meant to be used with a Blackberry uh, keyboard because it looks quite interesting. I have some background project that I'm doing about Linux handheld computer with the Lishi Pi Nano F1C100S board, and that requires some nice keyboard. So it's gonna be Blackberry keyboard and using this connector. Okay, and next one. This one is a bit special thing, it's a lithium iron capacitor and this is what I'm going to show you today uh, about this technology. So I'm pretty sure that you have heard about um, lithium iron battery, well you pretty, it's pretty much everywhere now these days. And I'm also sure that you have heard about supercapacitor. So, this is kind of thing in between. It is a lithium ion capacitor, uh, 30 farad at 3.8 volts. The manufacturer is Vinatech, which is a Korea um, startup or something, I'm not sure. This one going on uh, have uh, on the element 14 about 160 Thai baht, which is roughly 4 bucks, I think. Not quite sure. But let's take a look inside. Okay, you have this box, and yeah, the part number is VEL zero eight two zero three R eight three zero six zero blah blah blah, and you got the order code. Maybe you want to get one of these on final <laughs> element fourteen whatever. You just just grab that number. So let's take a look at this. Maybe can I open from the bottom? Oh. Okay. So, yeah, take a look at that. Hmm. Take a look at that. Look at the size of this. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Get some focus. Okay, great. Honeycap VPC Vinatech. 3.8 volt 30 ferret yeah I'm not sure you can take a look at the part number VEL blah 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 let's take a look at that it's not oh it's not zero in the back it's a G so this capacitor obviously came with a charge because well 
Maybe it's a testing or production or something. I'm not sure about that. So I'm gonna bring my newly bought multimeter. Uh, Unity, blah 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 blah, something something else. So get this on angle a little bit. Not sure that you can see it, but yeah. So gonna measure how much the voltage left in here. Yeah, quite a lot. 3.441 volts. You're pretty sure that you don't want to short two blades together. Well, okay, this is it for the unpacking. So, yeah, let's go to testing, shall we? Okay, I'm back. So here as you can see some circuit thing stuff just ignore all the stuff just only the laser diode and the capacitor stuff So the thing I'm trying to do here is just trying to drain the capacitor by using laser diode as a load So this is just my dead green laser diode um, This one I, if I recall correctly is this a sharp um, Green laser diode that I actually got the replacement one from LCSC uh, but yeah, I'm trying to find some load that, load that I can show you that this thing is actually discharging. So let's try to use my multimeter again. Okay, so by the way, I moved to Bangkok. So yeah, my desk is a little bit different. So let's make sure the voltage right now so um, 3.4 oh, oh it's getting steady well this thing doesn't take quite a lot of power because uh, it's just it's, it's diode if you have to take a look at the diode current um, chart blah 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 well this is lower voltage so not much current passing through so I'm gonna get one lead up like this gonna switch to the current measuring mode not sure this in the milliamp range or not but just let's, let's try this okay I cannot get a steady connection yeah Okay, it's about 0.2 milliamp. Well, yeah, it's just simple, simple load. I remember that I have, yeah, I have the blue laser diode. Maybe if it can do something with this and play with it. Need to be really careful not to get this thing short. So, orientation of the diode. This pin is a plus, middle is negative, plus it should be positive, anode. So the case is cathode, and I don't want to risk maybe if. Oh shit. Oh, it's actually shining some lights. Shining some little lights. I'm not sure that you can see it, but I'm quite nervous not trying to short this thing and burn this place down no it's not gonna burn this place down but if it explodes it's not a good thing to happen okay test the loaded laser uh -huh. again so I don't want to do this I want to do um, some kind of current measurement but well I don't have proper tool and this 10 m 10 second I just don't want to try to tickle what is called tick tick tickle the dragon tail or something just don't want to get into trouble so let's just wait, measure the voltage so 3.437 okay so definitely there's gonna be more tests on this so well let's try something else so um, yeah, this is the bot I showed you earlier from LCSC, and I told you that I got laser. But so 
if you go it's look like this it came in this package and I already soldered to the driving circuit uh, the boost converter circuit so let's check it. by the way um, I have FPGA left here because you know, some FPGA here so yeah the regulator that I've talked about I got some FPGA so stay tuned for the next video I'm doing about FPGA and uh, I also have more FPGA too in this uh, package uh, whatever so okay let's try to take a look at this circuit um, this is a boost converter meant to be used with um, blue laser diode um, not blue it should be the violet laser diode because I took this thing from the blue laser driver it's not blue laser driver gosh my brain I took this driver board from the fat beam violet laser something and just slap on with the green laser and yeah it's work so just, so let's try uh, power this thing on with this cap let's see what we have got here oh look at that Notes that the color that my uh, smartphone camera picked up is totally wrong. It's not like what you see. That's not like what you see right now. It's not that blue. It's it's more green. It's more greenish. But well, my Sony sensor camera decide to pick that as a uh, other color. So yeah, but this laser diode is a uh, 505 nanometer so just for your information uh, what is uh, the part number the GH 05035A2G 0 not O anyway got this thing for about almost 5 bucks yeah, very 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 cheap very, very good um, bargain for this one so let's try to power this thing up again yeah look at that well, uh, I'm quite disappointed that my camera not picked up as a nice green that I want to show you. But that color that you actually saw on the your monitor, I think probably you probably saw the same color with me. That is more like a 488 nanometer laser. I, I really want to have one but well it's quite expensive it's I think about 30 buck ish something and I kind of like fear to handle those laser if I do wrong move and I kill laser so my hopes are gone so everything is gone anyway so we yeah, have I don't want to put into this lens because I reserve for the wireless laser diode so just show you new <laughs> also show you my laser and this capacitor so let me keep this back in the back. So here you are some little unboxing and testing with this uh, um, lithium ion capacitor, uh, Vinatec. I'm gonna read the part number again. Uh, the VEL zero eight two zero three R eight three zero six J. Uh, a three point eight volt thirty farad capacitor, so you might um, try and getting this one on hand. I haven't tested this much to show you some laser thingy and stuff powered by this capacitor, but well, I actually have a use for this, so I'm not sure that you follow my <laughs> um, hackaday dot io whatever that that hackaday things that there's a past project that I do about I did about not do I did about um, welcome rip off project and here I show you this is a Bluetooth version it's kind of worse I got the battery management system I got the um, the fuel gauge charger and LDO for stepping this down for the mic controller and the the blue 19 no 9013 so just here yeah, the blue 9013 uh, welcome ship and as you can see I use the just regular battery 
and I want to replace that with this. The reason is, well, balance, let's take a look at this. This side is a little bit heavier than this side because there's nothing here. And I want to try if I use this uh, capacitor will uh, compete with this battery. I want to see how long it lasts, but I need to do some, well, fixing because this audio is quite, um, what to say, Joy sucker because the Quincy, Quincy current, I'm not sure what that word uh, pronounce, Quincy current or something, this current that doing nothing when doing nothing, so it's consumed quite a lot. Maybe I'm gonna change to, um, to some kind of uh, bug converter, but I will surely use this capacitor and maybe get this one more because I still have the FlexWatt project in the background and well I hope that I won't kill another display because I killed three uh, OLED display I killed two e-paper display so I think I'm gonna go back to e-paper because well it's more robust but anyway so thank you you guys for watching this video hope you learn something new and enjoy this video stay tuned for next video so again thank you guys for watching see you next time